Well, hello friends. Looks like I am under very low lighting and it makes me look like I am some kind of anonymous informant. And speaking about informants, first of all, I got to show you my cool spy outfit. With all <clears throat> with all the spy gate <clears throat> craziness going on, I wanted to share some things with you with just kind of like the overall political um, corrupt landscape that's uh, that we're living in. I want to share some things with you. Hang on a second. I was reading this morning in the Bible. Let me pull that up for you. Hang on a second. I was reading in Amos uh, chapter 5, verse 7. Uh, I'll just read a couple of, or maybe three different versions of this verse. Uh, the New Living Translation reads, You twist justice, making it a bitter pill for the oppressed. You treat the righteous like dirt. This is not good. Um, there's another one here. <clears throat> and this is, this is God talking to his people. You, Israel, turn justice into poison and throw righteousness on the ground. Uh, look at this from the Good News Bible. You are doomed you that twist justice and cheat people out of their rights. This is just not good. Uh, contemporary English version. You people are doomed. You twist the truth and trample on justice. I want to share a couple of quick video clips and maybe an article with you <clears throat> with how this all ties in. Again, the interesting thing about this is I'm not necessarily looking for verses in the Bible. I'm just following a reading plan uh, from you version, and this came up in my reading plan today. And in my reading plan, it's a one-year Bible reading plan, and I've managed to stretch it out to two to five years because I skip days or I'll go down into a passage and and look at its meaning and all that kind of thing so with that um so i thought that the timeliness of this i gotta believe is just god speaking to his people today and god is saying to us and to this nation and obviously for those who he's speaking to those who are still responsive and sensitive to the Holy Spirit and um, have a moral compass, I guess, uh, for the lack of a better way to put it, but um, for lack of way, yeah, for that. So it says, come back to the Lord and live. And then it goes on to say here, that was uh, verse 6. It goes on to say, you twist justice, making it a bitter pill for the oppressed. You treat the righteous like dirt. So check out this. Um, I'll just leave the title here. I don't know if it'll show the link here. But on YouTube, I came across. OMG, FBI agents confess they are very afraid of testifying against Obama. And check out this clip. Listen to this. Officials broke the law to stop Donald Trump from beating Hillary Clinton in the 2016 election. Rank and file FBI agents who want to testify against their superiors to Congress feel they can't due to an ineffective whistleblower protection law. These agents believe the sluggishness of the law exposes them to an inordinate risk of reprisal. So they've remained in hiding and they're afraid to speak the truth. This is based on interview transcripts with two FBI agents that one former White House official provided the Daily Caller. A third special agent also reached out to the Daily Caller to provide information about the current state of the FBI. 
The former White House official, who maintained direct contact with at least two agents, told the Daily Caller that they're hunkering down because they see good people being thrown to the dogs for speaking out, and speaking out does nothing to solve the problem. He believes that Congress and the Department of Justice are so weak and clueless and can't be trusted to follow through. According to transcripts he shared with the Daily Caller, one special agent said, It's a question of basic credibility. Congress, the executive and oversight, are not seen to have any gravitas or seriousness. The inmates have been running the asylum, and they don't respect, much less fear, their overseers. We know we'll be hung out to dry. The agent added, And don't get me wrong, there are still a few good people scattered about. But Maine Justice and the bureaucrats are running the show. They want to run the clock out on this administration and keep the status quo. Another special agent, when asked about being subpoenaed, said, This is a great opportunity for senior or soon-to-be retiring guys, not for someone like me. It'd be suicide. I hate... All right, so here's an interesting picture. <clears throat> this is Lady Justice, I guess. <clears throat> Excuse me. And she's blindfolded to indicate that, um, you know, she plays no favoritism. Everything is morally and objectively decided. But in this situation and in many situations that we've experienced and observed over the last several months, if not decades, that blindfold is now starting to come off and Lady Justice is peaking, um, quote-unquote, justice. Uh, so anyway, you can listen to the rest of it, but it goes on to say in this video that um, FBI agents and, and I suspect many, many other, um, many other, uh, what am I trying to say here? Many other members of various intelligence community agencies are wanting to come forth but the reprisal and, and reprisal is probably a mild word because the um the youtube video goes on to say um you know agents just simply don't have the money for attorney fees um, literally they would go bankrupt if not many have gone bankrupt um they just simply cannot afford to to pay you know for justice so to speak and so uh, and some of them lose their jobs uh, many of them are threatened their families are threatened and their careers are ruined and uh, they are and also for them to be employed elsewhere is an impossibility uh, because of them wanting to, to come forth and and actually um, share what they see and observe on a regular basis. Let me share one more article with you. So we must be getting very close to this whole thing blowing up with this whole injustice and corruption. Uh, as you know, uh, there's been this ongoing uh, nonsensical, ridiculous witch hunt um, by Mueller, Robert Mueller, thanks to Rod Rosenstein, who has uh, basically given him this assignment, and it's basically unfettered in terms of its uh, broad spectrum of authority and so forth in this whole investigational witch hunt. Um, but judge rules Mueller must hand over media contacts. Hmm, interesting. A federal judge has ordered the Department of Justice to hand over thousands of documents regarding Special Counsel Robert Mueller's media contacts. And this is uh, from the Conservative Daily Post. Okay, Basically, he has to disclose all leftist media, per leftist media personnel he's been working with over the course of the investigation. Um, this is all under the Freedom of Information Act. Claim and told, sorry about the ads here, claim and told, WND, I'm not sure what that is, it must be a, you know, some kind of news outlet. Anyway, that Mueller's office has been 
leading a secret investigation, leaking, inf leaking information to the liberal media for a year, and it was time for his exposed dirty act. His time for his dirty actions to be exposed. Uh, on Thursday, Sullivan gave the DOJ until September 4th to provide thousands of documents and contacts that are identified under the FISA uh, Freedom of Information Act. Um, there are... No, it's not FISA. I'm sorry. Freedom... Uh, this is under the Freedom of Information Act case. There are reportedly more than 9,000 documents in question that the DOJ will be forced to hand over... Uh, DOJ oversees Mueller's probe, so the department maintains possession of all documents and records regarding the special counsel's investigation into unproven allegations of collusion between President Trump, Trump's campaign in Russia during the 2000 presidential election. Here, here's the thing about this whole collusion thing that there are there are no uh, legal ramifications for collusion. Uh, for the you know, so uh, certainly none that would cause uh, any kind of um, criminal activity. Now, when you start taking money and uh, and bribes like the Clintons have, and break brokering deals that uh, you know selling uranium and all of that uranium one, that's a problem, you know. And then uh, speaking engagement for uh, Slick Willie. You know, half a million dollars speaking engagements and, you know, taking money into your foundation, the Clinton Foundation. Uh, that's grounds for criminal activity and indictment and all that. Goes way beyond the scope of what collusion is anyway. So basically they're, they're just simply uh, flipping, um, you know, trying to dis distract and detract and deflect the real, where the real investigation needs to take place. Um... Let's see. Okay. Clayman filed the lawsuit against Mueller's office because he said they are alleged to have illegally leaked grand jury information to damage the president. His family and associates have thus far been untouched by the inept and inert Justice Department run by General Jeff Sessions, who appears afraid that he himself may be indicted by Mueller for alleged Russian collusion and obstruction of justice. Oh, boy. Wow, this is really messed up. Clayman said, The American people have a right to know what Mueller is doing and which journalists and media outlets his office is speaking to, speaking with about the investigation. Mueller only feeding certain stories to left-leaning leading outlets to not only attract Trump, attack Trump, but to ramp up collusion theories. Yep, Mueller has come out over a year. He's come up with nothing. Anyway, check this article out. Um, still no proof to support the claim. Last ditch effort from Mueller. Not fooling anyone. He's just simply fueling his probe by using media to do his dirty work. His so-called 16 Russian indictments are ham sandwiches. He never expected them to show up in court, so Mueller has had to beg for delays. Crazy, crazy stuff. So, pray for justice. We must be, righteousness and justice must be really close because it's uh, the left, the liberal media, the corruption in, in government, and this nonsense, stupid, I don't know what else to call it. There's some expletives, I would say, about the witch hunt. Uh, Mueller's investigation, I'm not going to use this on that. I'll use them on this post. But pray. We're getting very, very close. And pray that our nation turns around and that um, we return to God according to this verse. Come back to the Lord and live. And I believe God is saying, stop twisting justice and stop making it a bitter pill. For those who are trying to come out with the truth, stop making it difficult for people to speak the truth. Okay? 
whether it's you know people in the FBI or, or other agents in the intelligence community or even speaking the truth in our community. I'm telling you that the whole thing on political correctness was an, an insidious way to suppress freedom of speech, our First Amendment. All right. Fear not, only be courageous. You secret informants come out of hiding. Talk to you guys later. Post your comments below. Hopefully you're getting my posts. And, um, yeah, keep the faith.